and I'll guarantee you this, by the time you walk out tomorrow, you're going to have a greater knowledge than 99.9% .9 of all people in the world. You're going to know more solutions to porn than 99% of all evangelical pastors in every country of the world, including Singapore. I'm going to ask a series of questions that kind of attest our knowledge about what porn is to you, to me, and how much we know. So anyone with preconceived notions that, well, the only reason this is bad is because it's, it's a sin or it's moral, which it is. But there's a reason why God tells us not to do certain, because He loves us and it hurts us to do this. The culture lies to us that the most important thing about you is your sexuality. It is not. The most important thing about you is that God loves you. He wants a relationship with you. Repentance is not a moment. It is a process of change. I had to learn, okay, what is repentance? It started with an education. What's porn doing to my brain? And then an education on the holiness of God, His view of sexuality and how pornography is a counterfeit to that sexuality. Now, is there any hope? There is no solution to porn. There isn't. There is no answer. There is no solution. There are only solutions. There is no answer. There are answers. Shame doesn't make you make good choices. Shame makes you lie about the bad ones. The church needs to help young parents coming along on how to develop a loving, intimate, close, secure environment. So secure that a child feels totally free.